All right, people. So welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Ultimate Reloaded. We're jumping because we're cool. I don't know what I'm doing, but anyways, guys, we have uh, got some things we want to get done today. So we have to get started on them, and one of them is getting up into a mining drill. Uh, and first, we're gonna need a pulverizer. I'm gonna show you the mining drill here. But a bit, a bit, a bit of bing. All right, I think it's just a drill. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Infinity drill. Oh yeah. That's right. Fluid sieving machine. Interesting. Pink slime. Okay, we could do that. One by one. Okay, so we'll do that later. But we want to get into this steel drill. Now, in order to do that, we need to make a steel. Not those steel ingots. We need to make these steel ingots. And to do that, you know, we can do steel grit, which, which obviously is salty. Uh, we could do none of that. Industrial all right, industrial blast furnace. We need to do a blast furnace. Just what I'm trying to say. So we get iron ingots. We convert them into steel through this thing. We get slag out of it too. Uh, so in order to make said blast furnace, uh, let's see here. I said blast. If we look here, uh, we need soul sand, another brick, and uh, magma cream. And I've got a bunch of. Uh, another rack on me that I want to go ahead and smelt up. Let's go ahead and grab, yep, grab two of these, or 32 of these. Those, ta-da, it's good. So those will start cooking up, making us some bricks. Uh, but I need to get some uh, magma cream. And the best way to get magma cream for us, uh, because we don't have access to slime balls or blaze powder yet, is to take these magma blocks and put them into a pulverizer. So that is our first objective. Now I have been working on this. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. And so let's see here. But bing. But a boom. You guys know how it goes to make a machine frame. You know the stuffs and the things. Boom shakalaka. There we go. We got our machine frame, which typically is the hardest thing to craft. We are running out of iron. We need to go ahead. And actually, hold up. Do we have iron in here? Oh, we got iron. Just kidding. We're kind of low on iron. Kind of low. And the cool thing is, is making this um, drill will allow us to get that much closer to a quarry, which is auto um, ores, basically, which is just power. So let's see. We need bada bing, bada boom. Actually, here we go. So we need one of these, two of those. Um, three of these, four of these, okay, so now we can make the piston that goes up top. <gasps> what? Oh, I put the iron back. How did I, why did I do that? Okay, there's the piston, perfect. And then we need two flint. Got one flint. I've only got one flint. All right, I got the second flint. I didn't have to go to the uh, the thing of a bob anyway. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now we need to make that uh, coil, and then how are you made? Oh, stone. There you go. Made you. We need some more sticks. Need some more sticks. I'm actually thinking about making a separate f uh, tree farm to get the wood out because right now we're, we're processing a lot of um, charcoal and we're not really getting any wood from it. So I'm thinking about making one like right next to it that does, uh, what's it called? I just had the word, it's gone. That does the idea does the does this does this. I don't know. We got that going. I think it's just wet. There we go. Why am I tired? This is weird. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're gonna put this bad boy up here. And we're just gonna link it like that. It's gonna drain some power. That's burning. Perfect. So let's go ahead and throw those in there. Those will start pulverizing up. That jumped up really quick. Oh, it was that. I thought that was the progress bar for a second. I was like, I've never had that happen before. Okay. So we got four of these. Let's go ahead and look over here and over here and over here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. 
Bada bing, bada boom, and that makes 12. Dang. We're just going to put this bad boy right next to our other guy with a space in the middle because that looks cool. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this one is hollow. So let me go ahead and let these other ones uh, smelt up and I'll be right back. All right, so the remaining 20 have been crafting up, even though we're not going to use all 20 of them, but oh well. Now, I do not remember if there was hollow in the middle, so we're going to test this out. Okay, it might be, might not be hollow in the middle. Um, oh, three by four by three. Okay, that's right. It goes up one more. Oh, we don't have enough. Uh, what do we need to craft it here? Let's see, what are we missing? Oh, the nether rack. Oh. Oh boy. We just need to craft up. We just need four more of those. We got it. All right, so let's see here. Boom, there it is. Check it out. It looks pretty cool. You just click on this and you go boom and then, oh. I need some coal. I need some charcoal so you guys will be able to see how good our charcoal farm is going. Look at that. We have 232, and I've only been on here for a few. Check it out. This thing just chisels the tree away. It is. I freaking love this thing. I mean, it's so compact. This is a design that I've been using for quite a while, and I uh, haven't really had the need to use it because of the bonsai trees, but uh, now that the bonsai trees aren't here, uh, it's really fun to be using this again. So we're going to be getting a heck ton of stuff. Hasn't even touched the wood yet. Alright, there's... There we go. So hopefully... Yeah, we're getting... Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get some oak wood up in here if it's full. Hopefully we do because it has to fill up the furnace full of uh, charcoal before it's able to... Like, go on, but yeah, we're going to make some uh, steel ingots, so I'm going to go make some uh, ramen noodles and have that for dinner tonight. And uh, I'll be back once uh, once that, that those are all processed and we're ready to make the drill. All right, so half of these guys were able to smelt up, which is just enough for us, fortunately. So let's go ahead here. We're going to look at a drill. Booyah. Microphone's a little close to my mouth. Let me move that away real quick. All right. And let's see here. So we need one, two, three, four, five. Need a re battery. Um, mm, where'd you go? I hate sifting through all of this stuff. There we go. Okay. And we're gonna actually need some more. Where did all of my? So there's the copper. We need our plastic. Plastic because it's fantastic. There it is, okay. So, sweet. So we do have enough now. I love that plastic farm thing. Even though it's really semi-auto, I still like it. So, I had some delicious ramen noodles. I always add an egg into my ramen noodles because I feel like I am going, like it's authentic or something like that. Oh, this is tin, not reinforced or refined, whatever that's called, okay. So here we got a re battery. Let's go ahead and make you. What are we missing? Oh, so this one requires you, huh? Jeez. Cheese and crackers. Okay. Booyah. So we have a steel drill. Cool beans. I'm digging it. We have no power, though. We have no way to charge it either. So let's just go ahead and make the diamond one because we can. Ooh, titanium. Um. This one might be a little tough. Um, the ingots come from anywhere? No, just that. Uh, what about blocks? Uh, titanium dust, maybe? Titanium grains from bees. Small pile of titanium dust. Boxite dust. Okay, so that's how we get titanium. So we're not able to upgrade this just yet. So let's go ahead and make a bat box then. 
Okay, and this will hold a bunch of EU power and will let us charge this. We need a few more re-batteries. Uh, so, cool thing is, is, we do have plenty of stuff and things for them. Here we go. We have enough plastic. Sorry, that's the word I was looking for. Okay, so, got those knocked out. Let's grab as much tin as we can. Redstone. Okay, so we're going to need three of these re-batteries. Two, three. Boom. Okay, I'll get that out of there. And we just need wood. Oh, why did I make one of these before? I feel like a buffoon. Because I didn't do it before. There's too many. Buff. Okay, bad box. Perfect. Come up here and we'll hook it up into our system just like so. And this is holding power. Cool. It's not generating quite a lot of power because it's only going, on, going off of that guy. The windmill, that guy. That's what I mean by that guy. Grab a generator and some coal. Come up here, and this should help us along. Boom. Yeah, see, it's going up way faster now. Okay. What do we need to make a second generator? Where did I even get it from? Right here. Okay, so let's look up a generator again. And we'll make our second one, which is just a re-battery and refined store or refined iron. Re-battery. Okay. All right, and oh, we're missing a ferni. Larry the ferni. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I didn't make one yet. Rip. Get rip in the chat. Okay, and bada bing, bada boom, a second generator. We'll put that guy right here. Boom. So you can see it's going even faster now, which is good because this holds 40,000 EU. So that means if we throw that in here, it, this will charge all the way up. <clears throat> That's cool. I is excited. Okay. And we're going to test the speed of this. Because if I remember correctly, the speed is not something to be desired for until you get the second tier. But it is rechargeable, which means that if it's halfway decent... It, it might be me, but it seems a little bit quicker than our pickaxe. So that's good. It's a steel drill. Okay. Um, what is the? What do we need to do to get the second tier drill? Just a diamond tip, and then we have the advanced drill after that. Um, so let's see here. So we need this titanium dust. We get that from an industrial electrolyzer. Okay. We put bauxite dust in it. Do we have any bauxite ore? Um, I don't think so. Wait. Yep, we do. Okay, so we have five of those. So we might be able to get it. So let's look at getting a uh, geothermic generator. All right, so we're going to need you. A, so now it's over here. Okay. So advanced circuits, okay, those aren't bad at all. Um, an extractor. We're gonna need a heck ton of refined iron for this stuff. So, oh jeez. Oh lord, oh lord, Terry. Okay, so we're gonna get that smelted up and see if we can hopefully, um, hopefully we have enough for it. We'll put this up here. Don't worry, we're gonna put this down here. Grab that. Okay. Okay, so we're getting pretty far along, getting really close to making it. Uh, I just want to tell you guys that uh, I was reminded down in the comment section that the uh, aqueous accumulators are in here. So now this thing is pretty much fully automatic. We just have to keep filling up this with wood. Uh, and then we'll just be extracting out of here and, uh, you know, making like a, like a 
instant compact, or not a compacting, but basically we need to craft it a three by three and then smelt it and we can have automatic um, tiny or rubber production, which is awesome. So I wanna show you guys what I've been doing. And so up here, um, been pulverizing down some coal and we've been putting it in a two by two and then sliding it together like that so we get raw carbon mesh and we're throwing them in there and then those are giving us these carbon plates. We only need two of them for this machine. And then we also need these for the advanced circuits here. Uh, so we need glowstone and lapis. Got glowstone, got the lapis, got the redstone on me. Let's go ahead and make up these advanced guys. One, and then we need to make up one of you. Good. And bada boom. So we got two of these in here. Good. Uh, let's go like this. So this is the first step of making the stuff and thing. Here we go. Let's put these like so. I like to put them in the order they're in in our in my inventory, so that way I'm able to uh, look at them easier. Uh, put that here. I don't think we'll need any more. But then we got these guys. Boom. Let's go ahead and make the extractors, which are just four tree taps, a basic mesh, and then a circuit. So we just need two of these. So we need to make two more circuits. I think we have everything to make one more. Yep, what are we missing to make this again? Whoops, missed it. We're missing one. Oh, well that's not too hard to make. That's not too hard to make. Put it like so, like this, like that. Get the rid of you, I don't want you. Okay. All right, now we can make actually another one, which is awesome. And, okay, so we got two of these now. Good. Good, good, good. That really messed everything up, didn't it? Sure did. We had everything so beautiful. All right, and then the tree taps. I don't know if we have enough wood for this. Uh, we might. Isn't that what it was? It's like this. It's like that. Okay, so there's two. I don't think we have enough. Actually, wait, we might. Uh, I don't think we can. I thought I had, okay, so we got one more there. If we use that, we can uh, make at least one. Oh, I feel stupid. So I watched uh, Bohemian Rhapsody today with the fam and it was uh, freaking amazing. I love that movie, holy crap. Okay. Boom, so we got our two. So now we just need to grab the mesh guy that compressed, perfect. We need to make up a... Um, I believe it's like a, I forget exactly what it's called. So let's look here. Uh, advanced alloy. We didn't make a mixed metal alloy. Throw this in the compressor of both of these. So we'll do like so, because we can. Check it out, bat box. Oh yeah. Those hold four. So we have 48K of EU stored up. That's awesome. So this advanced alloy is done, and this advanced alloy is done, perfect. Let's go here, what do we need to make this guy? Oh, we got it all, boom. So now, advanced electrolyzer, bingo, gato. All right, and yeah, it's time to get rid of you. Because we're not gonna really be using that setup for double ore processing. Okay, industrial guy. <laughs> so we have that bauxite ore that I saw. Yep, okay, so how do we get the dust out of this? Uh, looks like a pulverizer will do it. A macerator versus a pulverizer. Ooh. 
So macerator is four. You had a pulverizer is only two. We're going to do the macerator. Yeah. Let's see here. Does this really give us four? If it gives us four, we're going to keep doing it. But if it only gives us two, I'm, I'm going to do the pulverizer over here. Uh, so we're getting close. We're at 75%. And come on. Yep. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to let these process, and we'll be right back. All right. So instead of getting 10 of these, we got 20, which is awesome. And we're going to see here. Oh, boy. So we got, got power. What are we supposed to do for titanium? Okay. Ooh, empty cells. Oh, that's it? Okay. I got a bunch of empty cells somewhere. At least I should. Yeah, we got a bunch of empty cells here. Okay. Uh-oh. Yep, there we go. Check it out. Whoa! Is it going to pull out of the bat box? No. What if... Here, I'm going to grab my wrench. I'm going to move the bat box over one. Cause hope, and then hopefully it will pull from that. Because if not, this is going to take flipping forever. So we're going oh, to use the wrench because I don't feel like... Hopefully we can save the power. What the heck just happened? There we go. Okay, so like this. Hmm, is it directional? Okay, so what if we grab this guy? Grab, grab, oh, there's that. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. That's only a 17%, dang. We can't even use the bat box. How do we make a wrench like that again? I forget. Do I need bronze? I do. Do I have enough bronze? I don't. <laughs> so, I mean, we technically made one, so we need... Ah. We got the industrial electrolyzer, but it, uh, it requires quite a bit of power. Behavior or nothing, yeah. So these are just trying their best. Dang. Okay, we're going to wrap up the episode here for today, guys. If you did enjoy, please do make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. I hope you did enjoy the video today. I just want to talk to you real quick about the Patreon uh, account that I have set up down in the description. You can go check it out. But I have revamped all of the uh, perks, so if you guys wouldn't mind going checking that out, that would help out the channel greatly. But anyways, guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.